Well, my esteemed cohort is no longer with me. He's down running the auction for the Peak Rose House and doing a tremendous job. So I'm here to handle our post-show wrap by myself and, and really a couple topics in a shortened show today. Number one, what we learned and took away from the NFL in week one, and that is the difficulty of winning on the road. Just 12 or just four of the 16 teams, 12 of the 16 home teams held court over the weekend. Uh, I don't think there's any shock and surprise to that. It's hard to go on the road early in the year. Some of the factors is the healthy defense, is the home field advantage of that, that noise can create for defenses. So shouldn't have come as a surprise. The 12 of the 16 won. Maybe Kansas City, Seattle, the biggest surprises of those 12. And a lesson to learn at the difficulties maybe the Seahawks will have in traveling to Denver a week from today. The, the other topic we brought up were the Cougars, unfortunately, and Paul Wolf and just the woeful performance against the Montana State and what do you take away from that where are you at in the polls poll will future Bill Moose came out the athletic director he's going to say what they're always going to say I'm going to evaluate after the season but there really was not a ton of confirmation there moving forward and for me when I look at that if I'm a Washington State alum and I have friends that are Cougars when you look at the talent level between a Montana State a middling big sky school and Washington State there should be a, a clear line of, uh, <laughs> of difference there, of delineation, and there wasn't on Saturday, that the Cougars and the Bobcats look too similar. That's not a good sign for Paul Wolf now in year three of his program. We, we focused primarily on football. Our last story was one of some intrigue, and that is the ownership of the Minnesota Timberwolves taking out ad space in their newspaper, basically telling their fans, we are rebuilding, we're probably not going to win a championship, but, but stick by us, stick with us through thick and thin. And does that make any sense for some of the organizations like the Mariners, who next year will, will be in a rebuilding mode to ever tell your fan base, uh, generate some good phone calls and some interest? I think in football, college football and pro football, there's too much parity. You're not going to get away with that. The broken model of the NBA, well, I think you can understand where Minnesota was coming from. So that was the show today. Shortened show, full show tomorrow. And as always, you can catch all of our sound on MyNorthwest.com slash Brock and Salk and our podcast page.